stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Well, we won't lack for firewood at least. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain de Levere André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. This is business. Doesn't concern you. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. <laughs> Hurry! We best not keep Chevalier awake. I'm so sick, Rita. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> you simpleton. You rot-brained cabbage farmer. <laughs> You simpleton! You rot-brained cabbage farmer! Gentlemen! Stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close! The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee! We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner! Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. 
Where are your Not mates bad. now, you bilge rat? Talk before I bash out your brain! Keep an eye out, lads! Their pals are still out there somewhere! There he goes again. Thank you. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. What? Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons. Should as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Cut her. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? Silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect. Oh, the Morgan was an old goddess. She's the queen of war and darkness. She harps the souls of fallen warriors. A ship! Perfect indeed. Shit. Shit. They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! Loose tops, those gallants and royals! Fire! It seems this vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of your gift. It's a long way home, and we have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads! Chevaliers, please with us! What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an inanimous. An
Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. On, this everyone. chaos is Just absolutely like your fault, in case control. you're wondering. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, to Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a new. Pretty as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. The assassins would have you believe that Al-Mu'alim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al-Tair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al-Mu'alim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. 
Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. sure you're supposed to see that. Just, uh, you should just get back to your animus. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Now that you have unlocked Shea Cormac's memories, we stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I know you must have questions about your new assignment, or about me. For now, all I will say is that Shea's story contains the answers. Shea will lead you to a greater understanding. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. You see? You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake? I cannot only look worried. Oh, yeah. yet, not I far. heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kesegawase, and will continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. Take your time. Not too much. More work you know. after this. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on. Hurry up.
Come on. Hurry up. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What are we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Nicely done. I am surprised. You don't want to be here. He's right there! Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Huh, a classic haystack. Hide in it, and surprise your target when he gets close. Top form, Shay. I'm surprised. Mm. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. us. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Do not be late, Nick. Shay, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom 
and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We have one lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dal Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? You watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. You'll do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about the chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. There, Cap. An English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Her sight. 
I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls and all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Coming, Captain! Schooner! Royal Navy! Fire! Fire! Take Harry another Jay. hit, Captain! Break her fire! Here's the time. Let's border. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. The spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. He escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But Haiti's a French colony now. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Captain you has better the borrow some coin. The bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. Loose and catch the wind! Now's on sail! Let go anchor! What do you be needing today then? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, past across it. What say you? You sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself... Too far from Antipasti Island now. Will your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope the chasseur has more information about the manuscript. 
Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obviously, Caesar. Sun! Sun air, open skies, man out on the ocean. As free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? There it is. Anticusti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Can't be far now. He's off the wind! Dock the ship here, Captain. You've arrived at Anticosti Island. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Sheikh Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get it. Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. The Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. 
and Stop Washington those. is running Let's out of his. The squall. Careful, Shay. These waters are full of enemies. Some sort of cargo there, sir. Wind can be vicious. Got you. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be Let quiet. Go, anchor. Storm Captain. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short There's voyage from Barbados. And his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Trim the yards off the wind! Who's top to Royals? Blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package and find Washington. Short sail! Get off the squad! And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. <sighs> What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where you are? What can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Buster Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now let's find Washington and interrogate him.
Washington. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. All I've been told is that this is Lawrence Washington's residence. Such a color. How marvelous. I wish my little daughter could see this. Those fireworks are truly impressive, I must say. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. George is quite the wrong fella, is he not? Oh, do not get your hopes up. He has eyes only for Sally Fairfax. That hussy! What if her husband finds out? Hussy? George is the one sending her be a do. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion, even leading you here. 
has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it. I'd better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. No one gets past that. Got you, young dog. dog. Try to get past me, I'll spun your brain. Great to stay close. Keep up, boy. Is that a shit mortar? That's not Spartan. Clear shot. That enemy side. Fast and I'm losing The foe patrols these waters closely, Captain. Hey, and hit! Hey. The break up! Get them! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shay. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. 